Good morning friends. Today in this session, I am here with Photosynthesis in Higher Plants Part 1 of 11th Standard. Here we are going to discuss about Photosynthesis, why essential? Raw Materials of Photosynthesis, Joseph Priestley Experiment, Reaction of Photosynthesis, Where does Photosynthesis takes place? Types of Reaction in Photosynthesis, Pigments involved in Photosynthesis, Electron Transport System and Splitting of Water. So let us start the session with curious question why Photosynthesis is essential. As we know that photosynthesis is the most important anabolic process on earth by which green plants that is autotropic organism synthesize complex carbohydrates from simpler substances. So photosynthesis is the primary source of all food on earth. Meanwhile it is also responsible for the release of oxygen into the atmosphere. Now let us know about the different raw materials of photosynthesis. Chlorophyll that is green pigment, light, carbon dioxide and water are the important raw materials for the process of photosynthesis. If any one of these is absent then the process of photosynthesis will not occur. Now it is about Joseph Priestley experiment. Joseph Priestley in the year 1770 performed a series of experiments and he found that there is essential role of air in the growth of plants. He discovered oxygen in 1774. He observed that a candle burning in a bell jar which is closed soon gets extinguished. Similarly, a mouse would soon suffocate in a closed space. By doing this experiment, he made a conclusion that a burning candle or an animal that breathed the air damaged the air. But when he placed a mint plant in the same bell jar, he found that the mouse stayed alive as well as the candle continued to burn. Thus, he made a hypothesis that plant is responsible for restoring the damaged air. In the given figure, you may observe that when in a closed space, both plants and animals are kept, then they may survive for a while. Here the guinea pig takes oxygen given out by the green plant during the process of photosynthesis and plant takes carbon dioxide given out by guinea pig during breathing and respiration. Here it is the reaction of photosynthesis. You may see that when 6 molecules of carbon dioxide react with 12 molecules of water in the presence of light and chlorophyll, then one molecule of glucose is formed along with 6 molecules of water and 6 molecules of oxygen. The oxygen released is from water which was proved uh, using radioisotope technique. Now the next topic is where does photosynthesis take place? Photosynthesis does take place in the green leaves of plant but it also occurs in other green parts of the plants like green younger stem. We know that uh, leaves have mesophyll cells that contain large number of chloroplasts. These chloroplasts are responsible for trapping of light energy from the sun. When you look into the structure of chloroplast, you will find that there is a membranous system consisting of grana, the stoma lamellae and the fluid stoma. Within the chloroplast, you may find that there is a division of labor. The membrane system is responsible for trapping of light energy and for the synthesis of ATP and NADPH. In a stoma, enzymatic reactions 
takes place means different types of reactions are taking place with the help of different enzymes as a result of which there is synthesis of sugar which in turn form starch it is the diagrammatic representation of an electron micrograph of a section of chloroplast you may observe here the outer and inner membrane stoma lamellae granum and stoma it is about the internal structure of leaf showing mesophyll cells bearing chloroplast as well as stoma now let us see difference between light and dark reaction of photosynthesis the reaction which are directly light driven are called light reaction and the reaction which are not directly light driven but are dependent on the products of light reaction that is atp and nadph are called as dark reaction next is about pigments involved in photosynthesis as we know that the color of the leaf is due to four pigments they are chlorophyll a gives bright or blue green color chlorophyll b that is yellow green xanthophyll that is yellow and carotenoid that is yellow to yellow <coughs> these pigments have an ability to absorb light at a specific wavelengths chlorophyll a is the chief pigment associated with photosynthesis most of the photosynthesis takes place in the blue and red region of the spectrum but some photosynthesis does takes place at the other wavelength of the visible spectrum thus <coughs> chlorophyll b xanthophyll and carotenoids are called accessory pigments that uh, that also absorb light and transfer the energy to the chlorophyll a now let us discuss about light reaction light reaction is also called photochemical phase in this phase light absorption water splitting oxygen release and the formation of high energy chemical intermediates that is atp and nadph occurs during light rea reaction several complexes are involved the pigments are organized into two different photochemical light harvesting complexes within the photosystem 1 that is ps1 and photosystem 2 that is ps2 the light harvesting complexes are made up of hundreds of pigment molecules bound to proteins each photosystem has all the pigments except one molecule of chlorophyll a forming a light harvesting system called antenna the single chlorophyll a molecule form the reaction center the reaction center is different in both the photosystems in photosystem 1 the reaction system chlorophyll a has an absorption peak at 700 nanometer hence it is called as p700 while in photosystem 2 it has absorption peak at 680 nanometer and it is called p680 here it is about ps1 and ps2 that is photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 ps1 consists of about 200 to 400 chlorophylls 50 carotenoids and one molecule of p700 whereas ps2 consist of about 200 chlorophylls fills 50 carotenoids and one molecule of p680 this one molecule of p700 and p680 are the reaction center you can also observe here the light harvesting complex in the given figure now let us discuss about electron transport system in photosystem 2 the reaction center chlorophyll a absorb 680 nanometer wavelength of red light 
this causes electrons to become excited and jump into an orbit away from the atomic nucleus these electrons are further picked up by an electron acceptor which passes them to an electron transport system consisting of cytochromes the movement of electrons here is downhill in terms of an oxidation reduction or redox potential here the electrons are not used up as they pass uh, through the electron transport chain but are passed to the pigments of photosystem 1 simultaneously electrons in the reaction center of photosystem 1 are also excited when they receive red light of wavelength 700 nanometer these electrons are then transferred to another acceptor molecule that has a greater redox potential these electrons are then moved downhill again to energy rich molecule nadp plus the addition of electron reduces nadp plus to nadph plus h plus so the whole scheme of transfer of electron is called z scheme due to its characteristic shape here you can see the flow chart of z scheme of light reaction you may observe here the transfer of electrons and the shape of z scheme now the last topic of today's session is about splitting of water the splitting of water is associated with photosystem 2 water is split into h plus and o and electrons this creates oxygen one of the net product of photosynthesis in the given reaction you may conclude that two molecules of water give rise to four hydrogen ion one oxygen molecule and four electron so children this is all about today's session thank you for any kind of doubts please write your question in comment section